Hello everybody, this is Terry Van Noy. You're looking at my online classroom, Math Class with Terry V. Um, today I have a lesson that's uh, from a viewer and it's a very practical question about building a pentagon shaped table or a pentagonal table. But first, if you like the way I teach, if you understand a lot of things the way I do it, and if you are ready for a live online math session for whatever studying you need to do, give me a call at that toll-free number up above there or go to my website. Check it out for more information. The first lesson is free if you're interested. All right, now on to today's question. This is from Charlie and he's wondering how we can build a pentagon shaped table. So here it is. I'm building a pentagon shaped table with a four by four piece of plywood, four feet by four feet. If the distance away from the center to the corner any corner it has to be 22 inches is there enough room to build it on the board now as Charlie builds his table what he's gonna do is of course need to know the center of that pentagon shape now we're gonna assume it's a regular pentagon all these edges are the same length and there are some dimensions here that we're gonna have to figure out it's gonna involve some trig functions believe it or not and probably some right triangles as we figure this out now what he's saying again is that the distance from the corner of the table, any corner, has to be 22 inches into the center. All right. Now can he actually fit this on a 4x4 four four piece of plywood? So let's see what's going to happen here. All right. So we're going to look at the widest part of this board, which would be from this vertex here to that vertex. All right. We have to figure out can it fit on a 48 inch board? All right, so we want to make sure that that there has to be less than 48. And we also have to know whether the height of this pentagon is less than 48 inches. Okay, and notice that's from the peak vertex here straight down. All right, so that's going to be kind of interesting. So that's the question. Let's see how to solve this. Now the first part of this is we need to find how wide this pentagon shape is. So that's my green line going across. Now um, what I have to do actually before that is work with this information down here. We know that this is, uh, this is a radius from the center out to an, a vertex here and it's 22. It has to be 22 inches. Alright, if I drop a line straight down to the midpoint of that edge, I'm going to make a right triangle and then that will help me find the edge. All right, there's a reason for that in a second. All right, now this line right here from the center of the circle straight down is called the apothem, just so you know. I actually have a video on this, how to find the apothem of certain shapes. And it's all about, can I figure out that angle and use a trig function to solve this edge. Once I get that little part, I double it to find the entire edge. Okay, So the whole key to this entire problem is solving that triangle right there. So also from a previous video, I showed how to find the external angles of a pentagon. Okay, An external angle is what kind of turn I have at every corner. Alright, that's 360 degrees divided by 5 turns that would be 72. Now the reason why that's important is because this inside angle is supplementary to it. So when we subtract from 180, we're going to get 108 inside here. So every vertex of this pentagon has 108 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees. Now this radius splits that. So actually, it's a bisecting line there. So half of 108 is 54 degrees. All right, now I'm just going to reconstruct this triangle. And it's a right triangle. There's my radius. There's half the edge. And this is the apothem right here. We know that, again, this is 54 degrees. We know that this has to be 22. And I need to find that right there. All right, so from your trig from high school days, you're going to remember that this x leg is the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse, that's the cosine function. All right, so I'm going to solve for x. So cosine of 54 degrees 
is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Put in 54, hit the cosine. It's that decimal value. Usually we round to four places, but now we have to multiply it by 22. We cross multiply there. So times 22 will give us our answer. 12.93. Let's round it to 12.93. Now that answer gives us halfway across an edge, so we need to double that. So times 2, and that would be 25.86. Now we'll look at uh, finding the apothem length here um, for the next part when we're looking at the height of this pentagon. But for now, we know that the edge is 25.86. And again, we're going to create a right triangle and the purpose is to find the length of this green line. Well, when I draw that right, uh, sort of the altitude of that upper triangle there, and create a right triangle, I am going to bisect this line, all right? So I'm gonna call this W for width. It's actually half the width, so we'll double it when we're done. Now, what we do need to know is, we don't know anything about that angle yet, but the easier angle is this one right here. Because remember, when I draw that line, I split that angle. Remember what that is? Just like when I split the angle down here, it's 54 degrees. All right, so then we have another right triangle. So let's look at that one. Shaped a little bit differently. And it's a right triangle. I know this is 25.86. And I'm looking for W, and I know this is 54 degrees. All right, if that's my reference angle, this W is actually an opposite leg, and here's the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse would be sine. So the sine of 54 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. About 20.92. All right, 20.92. Now we're going to go ahead and double that, which is 41.84. 41.84. And remember, we want to try to fit this on a 4x4 four four piece of plywood. 4 feet is 48 inches. So, so far, it will fit within the width of such a board. Let's look at the height. To, to find the height, we need to know the apothem length. All right, now back to this right triangle. We know the radius here is 22. This is a 54 degree angle. We found from the previous page that half of the edge is 12.93. And now we can either through Pythagorean theorem or through a uh, trig function of some kind, find the apothem. I'm gonna call the apothem A. And so here's what we've got. In this case, let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. So the leg A squared plus 12.93 squared equals your hypotenuse squared, which is 22. All right, let's work it out. Take the square root of each side. And there you go, about 17.8 rounded. So the apothem is 17.8. That's from the center straight down. What about the center straight up? Ah, that's right, that's the radius. We talked before about how that has to be 22. So when I add these together, the total height needed for the Pentagon is 39.8. And yes, it will fit on a 4x4 four four piece of plywood. So here's what we've got. Your regular pentagon shape will fit on a 48 inch by 48 inch. All right. Now, no matter how you rotate it, for example, see this side here. What if I rotated it and made it flat with this vertical edge? Well, I would still have the same angles. So at its widest point, it's going to be 41.84. At its tallest point, it's going to be 39.8. And of course, it's a little different question to figure out what angles you need to cut for that.
but you can figure it out. All right, thanks for the question, Charlie. Appreciate it, and it's a good application for uh, geometry and a little bit of trick. Thanks a lot for watching.